Hello YouTube and welcome to Cam and Code. In this video, we will see what are associations and how we can implement them. So associations are basically a relationship or a link between different objects. The objects may belong to different classes or they may belong to the same class. There are different kinds of associations such as there is a bidirectional association, there is a unidirectional association, there is a reflexive association and each of these association will have a different number of cardinality or a different number of multiplicity. For example, suppose there exists an association with a department and an employee. So in such a way that one employee could belong to only one department but for a single department there can be several employees enrolled within that department. So for that department the cardinality would be n where n could be any number. But for this single employee the cardinality would be 1. So that means that for one employee there can only be one department. So let's look into detail for each of these associations and see how we would implement them in C++ language. So let's get started. So here you can see we have different kinds of association. The first one is bidirectional association. So a bidirectional association means that both of the classes that are involved in the associations, each of the classes would have object or pointer of the other class. So its implementation would go something like this class passenger and it would have its attributes that are to be defined but it would have an object it would have a pointer that has the object of the airplane class so it would go something like this airplane ptr meanwhile the uh, the airplane class would also have a pointer that is pointing towards the passenger class so it would have something like this passenger ptr so this is how the bidirectional association is implemented here we see that cardinality is one to one but if we had a different cardinality so how would we implement that for instance if we had a two here before we can understand how to implement that we also need to realize how do we read the cardinality before we can implement that we need to understand how do we actually read the cardinalities so whichever class we have we always have to read the cardinality from one class to the opposite side so in here we have airplane class to read the cardinality that how many passenger pointers it has we always have to look towards the opposite sides cardinality so for this airplane side to know the cardinality we have to read the cardinality that is associated with the passenger side and that is one so this would mean an airplane would have would carry only one pointer of the uh, passenger type but for instance if here we had something like 20 it would be implemented something like this class airplane passenger ptr so here we would have an array of ptr that has 20 index here we have a directed association so an association is called a directed association if it has arrow if it has one arrow then it is also called unidirectional association but if it has two arrows for example i could have an arrow here in the downward side as well then it would be just treated as a bidirectional association but here we have a unidirectional association that is also a directed association and it has a cardinality of 20 so how do we implement the uh, so how do we implement a unidirectional association in the unidirectional association we have a pointer only in one class so here we can see airplane has pointer that is pointing towards the passenger class the arrow is pointing towards the passenger class so in code in c++ its implementation would be same as that the air airplane class would have a pointer of array size 20 that is pointing towards the passenger class so it would have something like that passenger ptr20 but here we would not have a pointer of airplane at all because its cardinality is unidirectional so its implementation goes like this similarly we have here a reflexive association so an association is called a reflexive association if it has a pointer that is pointing towards the same class type here we have an airplane staff class that has a manager and it has a subordinate 
so the manager and the subordinate both have class type airplane staff so it would be implemented something like this class airplane staff and it would have two pointers that is of the same class type so we would uh, implement this as ptr uh, we should not name this as ptr as as these associations have name one has manager name and the other has subordinate name so it should be named accordingly manager and airplane staff subordinate here we have to also understand the cardinality so the zero dot dot star means that it may have no manager or it can have as many manager as per the requirement here similarly we can see that sub next to subordinate we also see a zero dot dot star it can mean the same thing so for instance if i had a, a two dot dot star here we would write something like this it would mean that an airplane staff can have minimum two minimum two managers but it can have as many managers as the upper limit so if i was here to write here two then it would be implemented as 20 where 20 is the end this means that at minimum there need to be two managers but at maximum there can be as many managers as per the requirement here i have set the maximum to be n or uh, to be 20 so when we are implementing this we need to make sure we need to implement the code in such a way that we ensure that there are at least two managers for that airplane staff next we have multiplicity which is same as cardinality as i explained in the other examples here we have a cardinality one here we have a cardinality one here we have a 20 etc so now we are going to uh, make the code for bidirectional association to save time i have already written a code so i'm just going to explain that code 